capsizing. Welcome back. Home Story Cup 12 was actually the first Home Story Cup in this location. I have to think about it because we already had this location when we had Home Story Cup 10. We were rebuilding it uh, and we had the plan to host the first the next Home Story Cup, the 11th one here, but we didn't make it in time. I think some of you still remember Show Me Your Flat 2.0. We had tons of stuff to fix. Die Leitung, die 5 Meter Leitung, ja, wenn ich die da reinstecke, dann geht das Internet dahin. Ist auch beschriftet tatsächlich, aber wir sind halt wirklich einfach nicht so schlau. Uh, there was a lot of, lot of stones in our ways, a lot of stuff in our ways. Uh, but then uh, we started actually hosting the Acer Predator Masters in Counter-Strike. Amazing event as well. Uh, we had tons of people here. Uh, the venue was half done. I mean, it was as, as much done as it needed to be to host the event and, and be up and running. Uh, we had rooms with full of stuff which no one needs anymore, but we didn't have the time to fix it. We didn't sleep the night before. Whenever you do something like this, like host a new or create a new um, event arena and, and host a new tournament, it always is like this, right? Like you, you, you work through the whole night uh, and you just finish everything in time, at least whatever we need. Uh, but we had Home Story Cup 11 back in the old location. Uh, this is the Rifkin uh, moment. Um, and then we started hosting events here. Such an amazing moment. We have our own bar. Like when I thought about a new location, I said, but if we move, We don't have the Irish pub, which I loved so much, but we need our own bar. And we started to build a new own bar back then together with Red Bull. Thanks to these guys, because they made it work that we actually own our own bar here uh, and have own people working here in full time uh, and, and help you guys to grab a drink. Uh, every, every week people can come by. Now with Corona going down, uh, we reopened again. And we had so, so many events here. Uh, Home Story Cup is one of the big events we had here, but we had the Overwatch contenders here. The anniversary of Overwatch was here, the global one. Uh, we had uh, big influencer events with the biggest German uh, streamers uh, where we had, a, we had a few great events here and, and a professional team in Overwatch uh, was hosted here. Now it's a Valorant team. Uh, we have so many great memories here as well. Uh, also awesome night. Uh, a lot of drinks. We have our own gaming party here coming up, the level party. Uh, there was a moment where tons of people have been here, uh, if you remember that. And hi, Fabio, uh, one of the players uh, cleaning his dish uh, right now. And yeah, uh, this is where we are right now and where we have been hosting uh, all the Home Story Cups after we moved. And uh, I mean, there's one Home Story Cup, the 20th edition, which is the one which we hosted in uh, in, in Brandenburg, uh, which is uh, the tropical island. That was, I mean, I hope we can I have some cuts here to show you what it meant to us. My team and I, we do everything to deliver a great event, a fun event, and everything what is possible to give you, all of you, a great time and hopefully make you, Jeff, proud of what we do here. So let's make a promise. Let's promise that we'll enjoy our next four days among our StarCraft II family. It was such an amazing event. Um, I hope to come back with the Home Story Cup 21 this winter in this location. It, to f let it feel like a little bit like back in the roots, back to the roots. Um, and, and yeah, uh, that was... That location was, I mean, thinking about Home Story Cup 10, tons of work. This location has been worked not for a week, two, three, four, five. It took us eight, nine months. And also like hundreds of hands helping here. Was macht denn der Blade Master? Uh, we rebuilt this building kinda with everything. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube, show me your flat 2.0. Um, I have like, you know, like I'm a very optimistic guy. I always think we're gonna manage it. If we really want to, we find solutions. There was a point in this location we, before it was done where I felt like, okay, 
the first time in my life there's a chance that I might not make something work. I believe in so much that we're gonna make it work. Uh, but there was no other option. I had to push it as much as possible. And there were so many people of you helping us here to make this work for us, to host tons of events. Uh, not only the StarCraft events, not only Overwatch, Age of Empires, Counter-Strike, many, many other gaming events we had uh, and also other events and just have uh, people here enjoying uh, the location. Uh, thanks to you guys. Uh, it's the 10th birthday since Homestory Cap 3. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting us, all of you, all our partners, everyone. There's so many people being involved. Uh, you can't even count them. It's too many. Uh, it's a great time. It's a, it's a nice birthday, an awesome birthday. I'm gonna have so much more memories with you guys if we keep doing what we're doing and supporting everything. Thank you for everything and uh, well, uh, keep being a part of this community. And this is our latest location. Together with Saturn, we have the chance or we have the pleasure to be here in Cologne, uh, where esports has been starting in Germany, I would say, because ESL was founded in, in Cologne uh, with awesome projects, uh, the German Championships, Intel Extreme Masters, ESL1, all of this. And in a very, very unique spot here in at the Hansaring. It's at, very close at the Media Park. There's the first Saturn in Germany. They changed all of the location, made it a real gaming place to just play games, have an arena and all of this. And we are here. We have our own office space here uh, in Cologne. We can use all of this. Uh, we are here as an agency taking care of the location as well. And this was also a very, very big step for us. Uh, and and happened, yeah, I mean, uh, last year, uh, it all started to popping up, um, opening June, July, uh, together with the Corona situation. It was the easiest situation as well. It reopened uh, just lately, uh, not too long ago. Uh, the good thing about it is we had tons of production streams, all of this already happening here. Everything was remote without, without a lot of people there, just the people in the show itself, the production as well. But it's time to actually start the real events here with fans, with people showing up, cheering for other teams, just having a good time. There's also a big bar, which we actually, uh, uh, t which we are also taking care of uh, to get, together with Andreas. Uh, Hope you're doing good here. Someone who helped in the old location as well. I mean, in our current location, uh, who owns the Meltdown in Cologne here. Uh, and yeah, we are handling the location here at the bar together, uh, especially the bar. Uh, and that was also a very, very big step here for Take TV. And again, uh, what should I say? I mean, we all started in this small apartment back in the days, 50 square meter. You guys supported us, supported me and the whole Take TV people behind that so much that nowadays we are working with big companies all about, I mean, all around the world. We know so many people, we met so many great people and there were so many great opportunities. Some of them we actually managed to make work. There's so many ideas still out there we couldn't actually uh, achieve yet uh, or actually made them true. Uh, I'm still super motivated to do a lot of cool stuff here in the gaming esports industry. Uh, also have an eye on the left and right side. Uh, we already did something in music. We also did something in sports. Uh, that's awesome because nowadays uh, there are so many opportunities and people from, I would say, the old economy understand that we, the younger people, bring great value to, to also other markets. Uh, I hope to meet you guys in Krefeld, in our Take TV location, here in Saturn, in our other location, uh, the Experian together with Saturn. Uh, be a part of that. There will be many tournaments and also great events happening in the future. I'm sure about that. I hope you will be a part of that. And well, thank you for everything. Happy birthday to all of you, to all of us, to the crew, to everyone who was ever involved from 10 years ago to today. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs>